let me get out of our Excel file here. We'll leave this alone. Now, the final thing that we need to do, we'll come down and step three, export to Excel. I'm just uh, right now getting everything looking right. Okay, final thing we need to do is step four, and that's prettify. This is harder than you might expect it to be. What we've got to do to prettify, let me just kind of get into talking to you mode here for just a second. Let me get comfortable. Okay. To be able to do this, you have got to be able to access the DLLs that allow C Sharp or Visual Basic to interact with Microsoft Excel. To do so requires use of the interop. So these are COM based. You've got to use interop to be able to use them. So you've got COM interop at play. Okay, however, you've got to know what to look for. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need the primary interop assemblies. So you need the Microsoft Office primary interop assemblies and I'll put it right here so that um, you have it This is what you have to know. You have to go download and install the primary interops. There are ones for each version of Microsoft Office. So you've got to get the correct version of this. I'm writing to an Excel 2003 file, so I'm going to go ahead and get that one. You need to get the 2007 version if that's what you're using, etc. So there you go. You can see there's the download, there's the up, there's right there at the beginning I could see here's the versions so I need the office 2003 so I'm gonna go download those guys and my download hasn't started but thank you I know you think it has so let's go ahead here um, open that folder and let me go ahead and just install those guys And what it's going to do, it's going to put them in a folder. So I'm going to say, um, where do I want to put them? I'm going to create a folder, actually. Um, Office 2003 Primary Interops Assemblies. Hit Cancel, Browse Again. and Because I want you to see what's in them fairly easily because you have to actually work to get this done. Once you have them installed, it brings in an installer package. Go through the installation. Oh, and it won't let me. I don't have Office 2003. Okay, um, I've got Office 2007 installed, so let me go back and do this. Uh, let me get the 2007s because I am able to access 2003 Excel uh, code with that. And I should turn that off, but I didn't. And let me do this. And again, the same thing. Um, I'm going to make this, though, the Office 2007 PIAs. I know this seems like, like you're probably going, God, he's driving me nuts. Look, this is hard stuff. I put level 500 on this video in terms of skill because, not because it's technically that difficult, but because there are so many things you have to know and so many things that you have to get right or you won't be able to do this. So I know this is probably dry, uh, that it's not the most exciting, but it is what it is. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, baby. Now, while this is going, you got to know all about the global assembly cache, right? So, if you remember our discussion a couple of videos back, we talked about how to take your own 
custom .NET assemblies and work with them in SSIS. And we kind of laughed and had a laugh about Scott's five-step plan. Well, you actually have to now make sure that make sure your the primary uh, interop assemblies are in the GAC, and then you have to copy the DLL into the SSIS folder. So really, you have to do steps three, four, and five from that silly Scott's five-point plan. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, you might want to go back and watch the video on using and creating custom and third-party assemblies. Uh, I think it was like video number 11 or 12 in this chapter, in chapter 7 here. So, when we install the primary interops, let's go to the global assembly cache. I mean, this is going to I tell you, this is hard stuff, man. So now come down here and look for it, and there she blows. Right? That's what you want right there. Installing that installed version 12, Office 12 version of the primary interop assemblies. And what we care about is the Excel version. We don't care about any of the other versions right now. You want to do mail merges through SSIS? <laughs> Go for it, man. You're going to need Word. You want to send email through Outlook and open people's calendars? You can do it this way. We want to do Excel. Okay, so you've done step four, which was installing it into the global assembly cache. What you haven't done, my friend, is you haven't done step three. You remember step three? Copy it into your SSIS folder. So we need to go to the SQL Server. You need to go to where you've installed SQL Server. You need to go to the SDK assemblies, and you need to place it here. Okay, do you see any DLLs that say Microsoft.Office.Interop? No, because that's what they were in the GAC. Okay, you look over there, they're Microsoft Office dot interop dot Excel. You've got to put it over here. Do you know? Key question. Do you know how to export from the global assembly cache so that you can copy that DLL into another location? No? Most people don't. <laughs> it drives you nuts. It's kind of crazy. All right, so... I hope I could uh, impart this to you. This is not a normal folder. I'm in the C drive. I'm in Windows Explorer. I go into Windows. But when I go to assembly, notice that it doesn't say file folder. And when we go in here, this isn't like a normal file, right? I mean, I don't get the option to make a new folder. I'm right-clicking over here. It really is is like a regular folder but you gotta know some stuff this is cool stuff okay so here's what you can do we're gonna go down here to the start menu and I'm gonna take I want to go in here because I want to see what files are in there so I'm going to the start menu and I'm gonna type C colon Windows assemblies Microsoft dot office dot interop dot excel okay I can't find it okay maybe I put a backslash on the end okay no nope, can't find it did I do that wrong so you come over here and you say okay so assembly is that where I go well I'm already there let's close that one I'm telling you this is weird I know you think that I'm messing up right now but I'm really not so brings it up brings it up okay so we come back over here we say what was it again Microsoft, oops, sorry, dot office, dot interop, dot excel, okay, put a thing at the back of it there, oops, okay, get it in there, okay. and, <clears throat> all right, where is it, where is it, where did I put it, I've had it, Ugh, what did I do wrong? I have messed up now. <laughs> i got to figure out what I've done wrong. I think in this assembly, what am I doing wrong? How am I not? Am I typing it in wrong? Because I, I'm expecting it to actually open up because I want to show you something here. Typing it. 
Is that, is that the same thing? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. What am I doing? 12. Da, 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 da. What did I do wrong? I'm here. I don't get what I've done wrong. And if, oh, I know. I I messed up my demo. Okay, so here. GAC. Do you see the GAC folder over here? You see it? It's right. Th no, not anywhere. It's a hidden folder here. So that's what I was missing. GAC. And if you go in here, now you actually get the option to see what's in here in a folder basis. <laughs> Sorry, I, it, I'm telling you, this is hard stuff, man. I'm, I'm scratching my eyes because, oh, it, it's hard to remember this stuff. So once you get to this location, now you can copy and paste because these just become DLLs. You see, I can go find whatever it is that I need to do. Now, come back over here, and I'm just going to start down here just to show you. And I'm compulsive about empty, emptying my recycle bin. Um, you know, if you came over here and you just go to C, Windows, Assembly, and you say, oh, well, I'm just going to throw in the GAC and come up here. What? There's no GAC? What do you mean there's no GAC? Put the little backslash on it. There's no GAC. Okay. Copy. Paste. <laughs> And there is a gag. I'm, it's weird, right? Okay. Go find your out your Excel. Get your version that you need. And now copy that DLL. Okay. That's what you have to do. You have to take this back to that SDK assemblies folder. And you have to paste it. You have now done step number three. After all of that. You've done step number three. So key takeaway, how to export DLLs from the GAC. How to export assemblies from the GAC. you got to know how to do that. Once you have it, now you can go back to SSIS. Come back over here, and you can now prettify. Grab your script task. Step four. And let me say this. Do not, do not use C Sharp. Will C Sharp work? I bet it does. I bet it works awesome. Will you ever find a code sample on the internet to do it? No. <laughs> VB with Excel and SSIS, you will find 250,000 code samples. C Sharp, you're probably going to find five or ten. So I'm going to suggest to you, because of the lack of support, Use Visual Basic for the language. Now you need to go ahead, um, you need to bring in your file name variable here uh, because we're going to actually use our file. Um, and actually I need it to be part of the read collection because I'm not going to change it. And now in your script, let's do step number five. Let's come over here to our Project Explorer. If you don't see the Project Explorer, go to View. Project Explorer, and we need to add a reference. And if you've installed this correctly, go to the Microsoft Office Interop Excel. That's what you and I just spent the last five minutes working on. And look where it found it. Did it find it from the GAC? No, sir. It found it from the SDK assemblies. So choose that. Bring it in here. And I get this error message, but it's totally going to work. But this error message I get on my machine is going to cause some weirdness. But I, I say OK, and now I'm allowed to say import Microsoft.Office.Interop. See, this wasn't here until I was able to do that. Now, we have unfortunately reached the end of our time here. So let's stop this video. We'll come back in the next, and I'll show you the script and what you have to do.